Irrigation. Irrigation is the primary use of the water that we're drawing down in the oceans. Yes, everybody on the world needs water. The aqueduct systems that we would develop and supplement existing aqueduct systems so that the entire continent of Africa, the entire continent of Africa is turning into a dust bowl before our eyes. We have people that are dying because they don't have water. We have drawn down the freshwater sources such as animals are going into villages to kill people for food and possibly water because they can't get um, food and water in their natural habitat because we have dried out their natural habitat so they have to go search in other places. But we need to put that water back. We need to draw down these oceans and this is a perfect application for that because many of the African nations have gone dry. And so by virtue of which we can now supply a limitless water supply to virtually everywhere in Africa. But we wouldn't do that just so that we can solve the water crisis which is pretty, pretty significant unto itself. We would do that so that we could create agriculture uh, agricultural growth areas in virtually every area that we go to. That we can pump water to, we want to grow plants. We want to grow plants because of the fact that it is plants that process carbon dioxide. And by taking the places on, on the surface of the planet and turning them green so that they become basically process, CO2 processing manufacturing concerns. And the plants basically draw the tonnage of CO2 out of the atmosphere. It would be our only self-sustaining model that we have, because there hasn't been one presented. We're not going to be able to grow trees fast enough, so I suggest that we grow plants and trees, and then those plants and trees will then process the CO2 and the only way to get that is to distribute the water and at the same time we're drawing it down. At the same time we're solving the water crisis. At the same time we're solving the food shortage. Starting with irrigating the land, that means we're, we're planting plants. We're an agricultural society again. You take a, a continent like Africa where there's a, a, there's a crisis on food, that problem goes away. They've got water and they've got food. That problem solved. That continent is well on the way to having a health standard that matches the rest of the globe. We no longer have a food shortage. We have solved a major problem which is some countries have oil, some countries have food. Now based on the economics of how the globe has worked before and how the economic engine has worked and why there is a Wall Street and a New York Stock Exchange, in this particular instance I feel that it's prudent to say that every country should have its own food. There should be enough food. And if there isn't enough food, there should be a surplus of food. So that this isn't part of, of the economic uh, engine any longer. Because we need to grow these plants, the point at which I will allude to in the next section. If we undertake this, and we grow these plants, we're growing enough food so that there is never a food shortage ever, ever again. Additionally, if we are dealing with the irrigation its situation, we can deal with providing enough alter, um, foods and grains, possibly algae, possibly switchgrass, or whatever comes up for alternate fuels.